played the game that I play. So I'm still, I was just in the program about an hour ago. So <laughs> I'm still live and direct, loud and proud. I'm out there. Aboard the Concha Del Mar, there are a bunch of fun events coming up. This weekend, make your way to the wreck because all games played will be worth double XP. Next weekend, it's Specialty Appreciation Defender. The New Orleans Riverfront gleaming brightly along the Mississippi here tonight. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Greg Anthony and Brett Beer, and from the sideline, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thank you. Kevin Durant is a champion, but he said, growing up, I never thought about titles. I just wanted to be the best player I could be. When I got to the league, I was listening to all the noise, and it was taking control of my mind. For me, mentally, I have to just focus on my craft. Guys, the results have flown since then. Clearly. David, thank you. Not every team has the personnel, Greg, to work the ball through the post, but that's what we're going to see plenty of tonight. And, and it can really add a dimension to your offense, Kevin, especially if you're able to pass out of double teams and hit guys who are open for shots. So the next starting five... Wing pairing, it's Harden and Harris. Duran is out there with LaMarcus Aldridge, and it's Irving at the one spot. And for New Orleans. out there and then for Brooklyn Griffin checked in for Aldridge Johnson comes in for Kevin Durant and it's Bruce Brown in for Joe Harris and you start with the scoring numbers when you talk James Harden but he's also led the league in assists steals three pointers even minutes played an incredibly impactful player here's Miracle Man Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his second personal foul. No question. He got bumped on that shot. Pelican shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. Yeah, and over the course of the season, they're a respectable 78%. That comes in handy in close games. The Nets making a switch here. Mills has checked in. Nets leading by three. He dishes it to Griffin. Harden outside. Five to shoot. That one, no good. And New Orleans will come the other way. And this is their first time matched up with Brooklyn this year. It's an East versus West matchup tonight. First meeting of the year between these two. Yeah, fun to see maybe strangers because you just aren't familiar with these faces here tonight. This will be a very exciting game to watch. For New Orleans, they have had seven opportunities at the free throw line and made good on five of them. Number 24. And it's tied up with that one. And trailing here in the early going, too many careless fouls, and they're giving up a lot of trips to the line. Round the pass to Mills. Hernan Gomez against Johnson. It's rebounded by New Orleans. They want to keep rolling here following the win against the Thunder. Yeah, in that game, the offense was firing on all cylinders, partly because the other team's defense was a no-show. Yeah, with the defense struggling like that, I think they just stayed with a healthy, consistent pace to get that win. Pelican shooting in this first quarter, around 38%. They're looking a bit creaky out there. Right wing. Now, here's Hart, guarded by Harden. Now, here's Hart, 
That's it. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. And Mills kicks to Griffin. Brown against Hernan Gomez. Brown, good. Now there's some easy offense there. Keep finding looks in that area, and their shooting percentages tonight are going to be off the charts. Miracle man, the pass to Hernan Gomez. New Orleans moving it around. Miracle man. Second chance shot. The shot's good from Hayes. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. And it's Mills with the ball for Brooklyn. Trailing by two outside Griffin. Back to Mills. This one for three. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Well, he's a serious catch and shoot threat really every time down the floor. Mills has to be accounted for by the defense. Here's Miracle Man. It's hauled in by Brown. Brooklyn's gone three of seven from three point range in the first quarter. Here's Griffin. He feeds it to Johnson. 41 seconds left here in the opening quarter. The pass to Mills. And the Nets, another three. Yeah, these defenders three. had better start closing down on shooter. Miracle man, the pass to Hayes. Here's Marshall. He kicks to Hayes. Pass to Miracle man. Back to Hayes. Here's Ron Gomez, and the layup's good off the glass. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Here's Harden, and Harden with the stuff. And for Harden, finishing through contact is just part of the job description. He gets bodied up almost every time he takes it inside. What a performance for Kyrie Irving. He has been the story for the Brooklyn Nets. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And plenty of scoring on this team, but Kyrie Irving, no. Of course, this wants to be very aggressive. Uh, you know. Agreed. And for an NBA defense, few more scary, Greg, than Kyrie Irving with his foot on the gas. Yeah, because he doesn't just score on you. When he gets in that mode, Irving can make you look silly. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And uh, from Brooklyn guys, what jumps out to you, Stantwise? Well, look at the turnover ratio, then look at the score. Easy to see what happened in that first period. Yeah, hopefully the opposition can recover because that first quarter defensively was unbelievable. Just crippling defense. On the court right now, second quarter starting for the Nets. Mills out there with Harden. Then it's Johnson. Then there's Griffin. And it's Brown in at the three side. The shot's good from Hayes. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Mills passes to Harden. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. And, and really an incredible no, playmaker his entire career. The Harden has taken that up a notch, and he now often looks for his teammates first. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you for the baton, Kevin. Kyrie Irving, of course, marches to the beat of his own drum. At times, that might rub people the wrong way, but Kyrie says, I've learned lessons from it. That's the most beautiful and exciting part, just the growth. What I'm saying is, it's always been bigger than the game for me. And guys, you have to respect his willingness to go it alone.
pass to Harden. Oh, Griffin in position. Blake up high to stuff the alley. -oop. And Blake Griffin, once again, an opportunity to show us his bounce. A dangerous player when he skies up for the alley. -oop. And huge assist totals for Harden, which is also a reflection, Greg, of the talent around him. And he's played with some of the best finishers in the game throughout his career. What changed starting last year uh, was his mindset, making him all that much more difficult to defend. Ingram with the steal. Passes it to Miracle Man. And the rebound goes to Griffin. Griffin's got four rebounds in this game. And the Miracle Man is going to pick up the foul. Number that is his first foul of the game. Marshall has checked in for Brandon Ingram. Second team foul. Coming on to the floor. Griffin finds Mills. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Shot clock at six. And the layup is good. Mills has got his third basket of the night right there. Well, he lacks some size and some strength, but Mills creative in the inside to finish that one. Miracle Man, the pass to Hart. Here's Miracle Man, covered by Mills. The pass to Marshall. Here's Miracle Man. Now, Hernan Gomez. A three. They get the rebound. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Well, beating everybody to the ball, Willie doesn't always get his number called, so he's got to put in the extra work and find these efforts in the offensive glass. And he comes up with the deuce. Harris has got seven points in the game. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, it feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. That's more like it, rounding into form after a very, very difficult first quarter. And here's Harden. He's got 11. On the wing, Harris. Hernan Gomez covering. Now here is Harris. He's covered closely. Off target at the rim. If you told me this was the kind of game he was going to have, I would not have expected them to be in front right now. Hart the pass to Miracle Man. The dish to Hayes. No good there. And there's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during... After a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here. Coming to the floor. And some changes. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for Aldridge. Bruce Brown comes in for Harris. And it's Mills in for James Harden. Come on, shoot. Come on, shoot. Miracle man, the pass to Hernan Gomez. Hernan Gomez out there with Ingram. Then it's Garrett Temple. Then it's Josh Hart. And it's Miracle Man in at the one. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Nets. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. A significant difference here has been the number of points off turnovers that they've gotten. And Brent, some interesting family history here. Your dad, Rick, brother John, and you all ended your careers playing for the Houston Rockets. The next time, Kevin, that you and I are broadcasting a game in Houston, I'll walk you across the street to the Berry Cemetery, and we'll take a look at the headstone. And that one's good, Ingram. Ingram seems just more and more confident in his ability to shoot from the three-point line. Outside Irving. Durant down low. He's covered by Ingram. 
Mills, that's a two-pointer. That one's not going to go. And it's the Pelicans taking it the other way. Next up on the schedule, the Grizzlies. That'll be a home game. That'll be the last of three straight at home for the team. Out to the right wing. And out of bounds as the Nets gain possession. So for the Pelicans, Hayes is checked in for Brandon Ingram. And it's Marshall in for Garrett Temple. And a change for the Nets. Johnson's checked in. And for Brooklyn, they're shooting about 59% from the floor offensively. They've been running without a hitch. To the inside, here's Griffin. That's good, and Johnson with the assist. Griffin's got seven points in the game. And that's what Griffin does best there. Remarkable how he maintains control and schools the defense. Here's Miracle Man. He can't hit that time. Good work defensively by Johnson. And then Griffin with the dunk. Beautiful transition offense there. That's execution at its best. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. And he is absolutely dialed in from outside. They need to close out on him much quicker when he's lining up those threes. Here's Miracle Man. 12 points for him. Out to the right wing. Here's Hernan Gomez. Blake Griffin pulls it in. Griffin's got his sixth rebound on the night. And for a player with Blake Griffin's physical makeup, it was a big adjustment when he had to deal with injury issues. He's really had to reshape his body and his game. Here's Hart. Will not go. This is off the front iron. Hart's gone two for five tonight. Mills passes to Griffin. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need to basket. Mills. That the Pelicans have gone foul. 6 of 11 from the line tonight. Foul. And the first one drops. Number 24. Taking two shots. Both free throws. Good from Miracle Man. AGA hot off the presses. MP has agreed to a marketing partnership with Mobile One. I mean, MP has so many followers. It's really going to help Mobile One reach new customers. Smart business decision on their part. Kicks it to Hayes. Ron Gomez trying to break free. The shot's good from Hayes. Hayes has got eight points. Well, he's too good a finisher to blow that kind of chance, but that's going to be a wake-up call to the defense. Outside Irving. Kicks it out to Johnson. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Here's Mills. Griffin trying to get open. Yes, that goes in. Ten points for him. Now they're playing working to perfection there if that was their plan. And if it wasn't, maybe that should be their plan. The shot's good for Miracle Man. A defensive breakdown there, no doubt about it. I mean, he's a guy you have to be focused on defensively. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets in complete command. Their lead at 28 points going into the break. And with as many three-pointers as they've drained, it's easy to see why they're on the cusp of a blowout. Back right at... And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed. And you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Yeah, sometimes that's what can separate some of the best players, not just creating for yourself, but creating for others as well. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. On the court for the Nets, getting the fourth quarter going. They've got Bembry. Johnson is out there with Bruce Brown. Then there's Carter. And it's Sharp, and at the center, filling out the middle. Pass to Marshall. Clock at four. Outside Lewis. 
The shot, no good. The net shooting 59% up to this point. They're working for great shots, and they're hitting them. Down low. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. That's his first. How about that one? Able to maintain control and finish the play. Bruce Brown at the line for one. All right, Greg, I'm going to put you on the spot. Who do you think right now has the best backcourt in the NBA? Oh, my goodness. I mean, so many terrific backcourts to choose from. You know, Phoenix has got to be in that conversation with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. But I'll tell you what, with the Splash Brothers healthy and back at it, it's just hard to beat that combination. Straight rim rocker. It looked like a Greg for a second, like he might rip the cylinder loose. <laughs> There's the lob to Brown. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Back to Lewis. Passes to Miracle Man. Kicks it to Lewis. Over Carter, Hayes trying to break free. Offensive rebound, and the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Yeah, how about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboards right now? Some hard-earned second chance points. Carter looking around. This is to Johnson, and the slam dunk by Johnson. Johnson's mobility for a guy his size is something that can cause some problems for defenses. And he's working out of the pick and roll now. Here's Lewis. Finds the open look. And it's on target. And so it's Carter who brings the ball up for the Nets. And that concludes this long six-game road trip. Sharp the pass to Johnson. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Jackson. And last season, All-Stars, Greg, missing 19% of their available games. With the shortened off-seasons, are you concerned about the toll it takes? You are, but this off-season may be not as painfully short as the last one. And in these tough times, some sacrifices are made, no doubt. Health, perhaps, one of the biggest. Harris has checked in from here. So it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. Hey, that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. Yo, yo, what's up, man? Hey, man. Let's get everyone over here and get started. Here's what we're gonna do.
Welcome to a brand new episode of NBA 2K TV. If you've been hooping in the neighborhood or in the wreck, you may have come across this familiar group. Oh, too strong for you! Yep, Team 2K TV is back and they've been putting in the time and they're ready to take you on. If you've watched last season, you know that anyone who comes up against us and takes that W, a 2K TV shirt is yours. Now, from what I've been told, they have improved and they wanted me to pass along this message. Don't expect any shirts this year. I don't know about that, but make sure you look out for them and check back here for highlights from our 2K TV versus the world segment coming up in a few weeks. above the vibrant downtown of New Orleans. We've got action from the Big Easy tonight. Hi, everybody. Time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. Two NBA greats, Grant Hill and Steve Smith, our analysts tonight, with our reporter, Allie LaForce. I'm Brian Anderson. Hey, Allie. Brian, as the NBA pivots away from the post and towards the perimeter, we're seeing more teams employ three-guard lineups to great effect, trading some size for skill. We'll see if the trend continues, but guys, for now, it seems that even if there's only one ball, having multiple ball handlers can be very effective. Very interesting, Alec. Good stuff there. Thank you. And we're watching two highly disciplined defenses. Grant, when you look at the teams that aren't in that category, where do they usually fall short? Well, B.A., I call it the three C's. Commitment, comprehension, and communication. All three are needed to defend at the highest level. Now, if you're missing one, it degrades the others. Going with a new group. Now Hayes. Looking at his stats. He's putting up about seven and a half per game. Here's Miracle Man. Defended by Dunn. Hart goes in. And that one is hammered home. Was a little separation. So effective. Boy, cleared the path, put him in position for a prime time dunk. That's a big time move and a big time finish. Dunn outside. Hernan Gomez with a rebound. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Here's Ingram. And the layup is good off the glass. Nimble ball handling by Ingram, allowing him to beat the D and find his shot. Done with it, and it's Ingram picking him up. Outside, Anderson. Pass to Bain. And here's Clark. Nine points in his last outing. Just five to shoot. Here's Anderson. Can't get it to drop. And New Orleans will come the other way. They're getting their first look of the season at the Grizzlies in this one. And these two teams will face off against one another four times. <laughs> it should be fun. So you know each game they play will hold a lot of importance to both teams. He flashes to the rim and is met with no resistance. It's been fun watching Brandon Ingram's scoring stats climb. He's a guy who can really fill it up, whether he's inside or outside of the arm. Here's Dunn. Pass to Clark. Hernan Gomez with a rebound. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. Left side Ingram. Second chance shot. And Hernan Gomez with the lay-in. They have no answer defensively inside. Memphis trailing here. To the middle. Here's Clark. Oh, Clark with the slam. What I like is when Chris Dunn keeps his poise, keeps his eyes up, good things happen. You know, Grant, what's really impressive about Ingram scoring is what he can do on those nights when he just goes off. <laughs> yeah, we've seen some explosive stuff from him on the offensive end from time to time. Now, when he's dialed in, he can absolutely torture you. You just wish he could perform at that level every night. Oh, 
Oh, they get a hand on it. Memphis has gone two of three from three-point land so far. Outside, Anderson. Back to Dunn. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. For a lead guard, Dunn's the perfect storm inside. Long, strong, and athletic. And he can't get the first one. Marshall, he's checked in for the Pelican. Good on the second one. New Orleans in the lead. And we've got 28 seconds left in the opening quarter. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. They're playing with a lot of energy tonight. We can see that in their dominance on the glass. To the left side wing. Anderson for three. No good. Misses at the buzzer. The first quarter all wrapped up. And it's been an exciting game so far. The Pelicans on top, up by three. And we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return. And the fourth pick in 2018, Jaron Jackson Jr., the rare NBA-ready defender, he talked about where he can make the most impact. Uh, probably be more of a backline help, you know, talk more, give more help for the rotations because you know, depending on what team you play, there's a lot of specific things you got to do to guard a certain player. A veteran's understanding of help and positioning, Grant. Yeah, I love that defensive mind approach. That's why they're a team to be reckoned with. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. Chris Dunn. And guys, what's your take on the Pelicans so far? was simple. Rebounding made all the difference in the first quarter. They really got after it. Yes, you know this, G.A., back in our day, in any day, really, if you don't block out somebody, you will sit down. So, on the floor for Memphis to kick off the second quarter. We've got Brandon Clark. Chris Dunn is out there with Desmond Bain. Then there's Kyle Anderson, and it's Tillman in its center. To the inside, Dunn. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Dunn's got four points in the quarter. The playmaking ability of Kyle Anderson combines great floor vision with his height and feel. Pass to Temple. Here's Miracle Man, defended by Dunn. Hard with it. Releases. The Grizzlies pull it in. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Phoenix. And it was just a strange loss. They were far from their best, but still managed to keep it close. It was a, just an off game for them, to say the least, but to almost pull it out was impressive in its own right. Here's Clark. And it's all tied up. Clark. Clark's gotten his second bucket. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Here's Miracle Man. Rebounded by Dunn. Pelican five. Number 24. That's his point. Completely new group for the Pelicans. So Memphis going with an almost entire new group here. Clark is checked in for Adams. Anderson comes in for Brooks. Bain, he's checked in for Melton. And it's done in for Jones. Clark outside. Pass to Bain. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Here's Dunn. Oh, he nails that one. Three for four now. One of the stronger point guards we have, Chris Dunn, often does his best work in the paint. Now here's Hayes. Outside for Ingram. Minute 32 left in the first half. Count it. Ingram's got 11 points. He was able to simply lay it in over the top of the smaller man. 
Jackson outside. Inside. Gun shot is good. And the Grizzlies lead by two. I will say this about his shooting stroke. It's pure when he's got it going. Perfect so far this quarter. To the paint. Here's Hayes. He's now one for two with that bucket. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Don outside. Down low. Kicks it out to Anderson. There's 45 seconds left in the first half. And he drives in. Sinks that one after missing his first two attempts. Now one for three. What we've seen with Kyle Anderson, he's a below average athlete, but has great timing on his drives. To the inside. Out of bounds. It'll be Memphis's ball. Grizzlies ball. Tillman's checked in for Jackson. Xavier Tillman. Memphis has gone only one of five from beyond the three-point line in the second quarter. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to Tillman. To the paint. Clark. Deflected! Now the Pelicans in transition. Here's Hart. Here's Miracle Man. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free-throw line. It goes on Chris Dunn. Heading play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Number 24. At the line. He's perfect from the line this time. From deep three-point range. No good on the buzzer beater. It's a tie game in New Orleans. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both... Changing it up here. To the middle. Here's Dunn. Oh, and again, unable to change momentum here. And they've just built this lead by attacking the boards. They've got Josh Hart, and it's Marshall in at the power forward position. That's the Pelicans five. Defensively, it's hard to account for everything. They gambled off him, and it worked. And, of course, Canadian-born Brandon Clark grew up in Phoenix, played at San Jose State, then transferred to Gonzaga. A few stops on his way to the association. To the right side. With the drive. Miracle Man can't get it to go. Memphis has gone three of four from outside in the second half. On the wing, Bain. Looking for his first basket still in this one. And he lobs it up top. Oh, Clark with the slam. The pass, the catch, the slam. What a clean play. And absolutely jaw-dropping. Pass to Hernan Gomez. And he banks in the layup. Hernan Gomez has gotten four this quarter. And dual citizenship for Brandon Clark. Canadian and the U.S. That Canadian national team is looking to be a force. And don't forget, his father is Jamaican, so who knows? <laughs> Bottom line, he's got some options when it comes to international play. And a clever yeah, pass man. fake. Kept the D from closing in. Here's New Orleans now. They're on a 13-4 run. Here's Hernan Gomez. Anderson covers. Hernan Gomez, no good. And he's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. Inside. Remaining in the third. Anderson Two gets the bucket. And now it's just a four-point Pelican assist. lead. Working Dead. off contact is something Anderson does extremely well. And he does it a lot. Here's Marshall. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. He's got five. Memphis has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. 
Dunn right side. Pass to Tillman. And he gets it to go. He goes to the bounce pass there. Nice rhythm at the end of the play. New Orleans calls timeout. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. Some changes for New Orleans. Hayes is checked in for Marshall. And Brandon Ingram is subbed in for Temple. The Grizzlies also with a sub. Jones is checked in. Here's Hayes. Clark grabs the board. Clark's got four rebounds now. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Pass to Anderson. Five to shoot. Fades away. Hart pulls it in. New Orleans in the lead. Ingram on the wing. Here's Miracle Man. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his third personal foul. Third team foul. He misses the free throw. For your well again, number 24. Take it. And he sinks the second. Here's Jones. He's got 17. 34 seconds left in the third. Outside, Anderson. Drilled from 11 feet out. Anderson's got four points this quarter. I like the mid-range area for Anderson because of his size and because he makes good decisions with the ball in his hands. Yeah, showing a little versatility with their offensive attack. In the first half, it was about the three ball. In the second half, they've emphasized interior scoring. Here's Anderson. He can't get that one to fall. Some solid defense from Ingram. Here's Miracle Man. And that's not going to go. Devontae Graham getting it done for the Pelicans. He's been effective on offense, racking up 21 points so far in this contest. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. And with three quarters behind us. So it's the Pelicans taking care of business in this one. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor. And they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. And that'll do it, folks. So for Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson thanking everyone for watching tonight's game. We'll see you later.
How's it going? I see you out there doing work. Let's get everyone over here and get started. Here's what we're gonna do. See you later. 